Hello, welcome to Lesson 6 of Mastering Java, Volume 3. I'm Jason. I'm going to begin to discuss with you today how we're going to use objects and the variables that we have associated with our objects to do something useful. In this case, we're going to calculate something. All I've done so far is copied and pasted uh, things that we've done in previous lessons. So nothing you see on the screen here is new. I have copied the aircraft class that we have been using to describe what classes really are. I've copied that straight in, no changes. Uh, we've created two classes, or two objects I should say. One of them is called Cessna 172, one of them is Piper Saratoga, and then we have all of these uh, parameters, variables of each of these objects uh, populated with the passengers, the cruise speed, the fuel capacity, and the fuel burn rate for each airplane, for each object. And so this is all stuff that we've done in the last section. Now, many times, whenever you have object variables that contain information like this, the whole reason you're creating the object is because, yeah, you want to store things, like a database or something, you want to store things uh, associated for the different airplanes in this case. But in many cases, you'll want to do calculations with this information. Uh, maybe you have uh, 300 airplanes and they all have different parameters and you're trying to calculate something useful about each of those airplanes with the data that you've stored in there. So, uh, of course, this is a small, uh, small class we've created and a small number of variables. But in this particular case, let me let you zero in on fuel burn capacity or fuel capacity, I should say. That's just how many gallons of gas it holds in the tank. So this is, in this case, for a Cessna, it's 56 and a half gallons. And also the fuel burn rate, which is not something we typically worry about in cars, but in airplanes, you measure it in gallons per hour. So you have gallons in the tank and gallons per hour of uh, fuel burn. It's very similar to we measure cars in miles uh, and then miles per gallon, like an efficiency kind of thing. It's very similar. Anyway, what we want to calculate in this case for a Cessna, let's